I'm back. <clears throat> yeah, there's Sozu. I am. I see. We know. Just a sec. All right. I'll wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening. Oh, okay. All right. So, you know, I got up. Go check out my nephew. Use the bathroom, pet the cat, stretch, you know the works. Yeah. I walk out in the living room where my nephew is. And son of a bitch, isn't he sitting there watching Sniper Wolf again? <laughs> really? You're, you, target demographic, I guess, you know? You need to get him on, get him on something else. I don't know what to you get him need on. To influence him. Like he's sitting there watching YouTube off of his brother's Xbox. Like, what am I supposed to do? He could be playing Xbox games right now. He's just choosing not to. I mean, <laughs> that's because he wants to veg out. Well, or maybe just doesn't like playing games. He likes video games. He has his own games and shit. Does he have an Xbox? It's his brother's Xbox. I mean, yeah. It's his brother's Xbox, not his Xbox. He has a Switch uh, Lite or whatever the hell it's called for himself. He has some games on there. Maybe he already completed the games he has. One of the games is Minecraft. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I mean... It's Minecraft. Yeah, and he's a child. Yeah, but you get bored of Minecraft unless you get the type of autism that gets you into, like, Redstone. <laughs> Maybe. I like Redstone, but I never went out of my way to, like, learn how to do all that stuff for myself. I just was like, this is cool stuff. Let me look up a tutorial for what I want to do. Or you play creative only, and, and you make, like, 8 bits, like pixel arts, or you make uh, buildings and stuff, but I don't expect someone his age to, <laughs> to be doing that stuff. Yeah. Then again, I remember someone mentioning that they did that with their kids i got uh the next gypsy's hunt up yeah i know what uh, rank are we even for, uh, for my kettle fuck how do you even do this Oops, no, um, whatever. Gypsers. I hate this. <laughs> this typing. <laughs> No, I don't care. I don't care enough to be typing on this. I was about to type as well. I was gonna be like, yeah, um, we're doing G rank stuff, not event things, but uh, oh, no. you know. Uh, and we're pretty far away from the next. He was Roberts, right? Yeah. Hang on. 
I got this. Um, I'll just uh. Surely the up symbol is in here somewhere, right? The up. Yeah, like symbol? the like up arrow. Why would that be a symbol? It's like the carry sign. Or not carry, um, exponential, whatever the fuck. Oh, you mean the circumflex. Yeah, that's its name. The thing that people normally do is like an up sign on things. No, you mean the thing that uh, weaves use as uh, eyes? No. Like smiling eyes? No, we don't talk about those, uh... Not real people, guys. Everybody knows weebs are just, like, not a person. Oh. As I say this, talking to a weeb. Elder of the Forest Hole, what is your wisdom for me? He has bestowed upon me a sap plant. Hell yeah. Also, yeah, I see that message. You, bestowed upon you a DM as well. Yeah, I saw. I saw your shitty weeb smile face. Yeah, that's the arrows you were talking about, right? Mm-hmm. I figured. Like, I was gonna reply with it like, yeah, that's what I was wanting to type, and not goodbye. <laughs> I actually hit goodbye while I was, like, fumbling across the keyboard. <laughs> nice. I should see about loading that mod that uh, defaulted to the English half with keyboard. Or not mod, it's a cheat code, but. It'd be much easier to use. Easier in 9. Yeah, I'm looking at the keyboard. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't really know if it's there, man. Yeah, I, I was checking. There's like a Japanese symbol that looks similar. Enough. Uh, yeah, the hair. Looks similar enough. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't exist. I remember, did we break his uh, crown last hunt? No. Fucking rip. Chips are us. You're too tall for this area. Right. A hammer. And I and I forgot to switch the hammer as well. Rip. Fuck off, cat. Of course I missed. That was weird. I suppose it. You love to see it. Alright, his tail extends. Yes, it does. Makes it have really annoyingly long range. And that's... maybe? No, no, he doesn't have a chance. No, he would've if he actually ran me. No, no, he would never. He doesn't have enough brain cells for that.
And off he goes. And I forgot to paintball him. I did bring those this time, though. Oh, nice. I'm gonna preemptively sharpen. Wait, did he not leave? I just heard him yelling. He didn't fucking leave. He might be now, though. Yes, I'm walking back. Uh, I hear him flying, yeah. Now he's gone. What a troll. Probably went to four if it's like last time. Oh, yeah. Oh, that kind of hurt. It almost hurt for me as well. But I Superman dived. Still funny how in this game you have no iframes on the ground. Yeah, that's why I'm not even sure if it did anything. <laughs> Capcom hitboxes and all that. Some of their hitboxes in this game, weirdly accurate. Yep. Other ones, super fucked. It's kind of crazy. Get fucked. Yeah, it's all yours. Oh yeah, that Vespa didn't die. Or didn't explode, rather. No, let me carve yeah. it. Yeah, it didn't explode for me either. Nah! Well, it's ruined. I'm poisoned now. I mean, they're constantly respawning, so... I got it. I got the monster broth. Nice. I was far enough away. Oh god. I don't know why, I just sharpened what I meant to eat a steak. Brain rot's got me. Okay. <laughs> I was trying not to heal that because I wanted to just recover my red health naturally, but alright. No, I kind of have to. Slightest touch of the tail does a bunch of damage and sends you flying. Sucks. Oh god. You need to eat a steak as well. Oh, nice. Time waster. Really? Uh, okay. He'll probably reset. Yeah, he's going to. Still dumb. Ah, I swung too late. Is he actually leaving? Oh, hey. I killed another uh, Vespa without it exploding. Nice. For you. Vespa Bladefin. Very nice, very nice. Not an abdomen, though. Never getting another one of those. Uh, 
Okay. He's got some advanced three parallel universes ahead of you, Tech. He snapped his beak once, then teleported facing me running. Man, that stretch. Don't you love the net code? I do. It makes it interesting, at least. I think the netcode's getting worse. It's actively deteriorating as we play. Again. Dude, you can like stop now. What do you take? Nothing. Oh, he didn't actually hit you with his beak then. No. Probably because that was against the wall. Please. Also, I'm surprised I didn't take anything from me. What the hell? Sick. Yeah, sick. I got a single herb from that herb patch. Oh, hell yeah. One herb, nothing left. You know, man, in these newer games, you really don't get the feeling of running out of supplies and needing to forge from the world, you know? Can't believe that missed. These kids nowadays won't understand what it's like to have to go foraging for your potions. They just have these steamworks things that print them somehow. Uh, I personally wouldn't even surpri be surprised if uh, Wilds had the uh, SS flasks. <laughs> I honestly almost wouldn't be surprised either. I feel like he's just been, like, time-wasting for the past five minutes. Yeah, he has. Time wastes a lot in the, this area, apparently. Okay. We go <laughs> yeah, again. That works. He was dying. Yeah, he does more of the uh, fake deaths, it seems. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Well, that one didn't seem very big. So we'll have to go again.
might as well eat the herbs. Because I don't want them in my box. Fair enough, we could also just bring them with you on the next run. Yeah. Okay. Trying to see if I can get to the five mining spot. It would have been much more convenient if you just died in four. Oh, I got a Dragonite. Nice. Yeah, I got three swings on it. Not great, not terrible. Very nice. At least I got something. Outside smoking a bowl. Classic Zan behavior. What does he mean by by a bowl? <laughs> He's smoking <laughs> weed. <laughs> He's smoking weed. <laughs> Why is it a bowl? That's just what they call it for some reason. I don't know, man. I'm not a pothead. Oh, oh ah. I got excited because it play it showed the thing, and it's just silver. Damn. Like, oh yeah, shit, we got a gold surprised. crown, let's go. Yeah, because you said, oh, this wasn't very tall. He wasn't, that was like, I'm pretty sure that was barely bigger than we already had. Yeah, but it was the biggest mm. we've seen yet. Somebody posted something in the Monster Hunter chat and then deleted it. Mm. You know what? There was a notification for the Monster Hunter chat, but it looks like it got deleted. Uh, that was me. Ah. I thought I was... uh in the DMs with you. Oh, so you sent the pictures there? Not the pictures, but with the anime face. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, you're smoking it from a pipe. Or in the, in the shape of a pipe. Okay. See, that makes sense. This man could be sitting inside playing monster and instead he's outside smoking... Playing monster. <laughs> Left out a word there. Uh, this man could be inside playing Monster Hunter instead he's sitting outside wasting time with weed. What a loser. Uh, Monster is a different company. Yeah. <laughs> it's several different franchises, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> Which is very funny. Including a manga. Yeah. I think. Yeah, there's one called Monster. Yeah, but is it a manga or is it a manga? I don't know. Like, is it Japanese or is it Korean? It could also be Chinese, man. Although I think theirs are called usually. some. I think theirs are called something else. Yeah, they are called like Hawa or some shit. I don't remember exactly, but I know Chinese make a lot of them too. Yeah, and they're all the same, which is very funny. A lot of them are very similar. Um, <laughs> there used to be somebody on Discord that I used to shit post about, um, like Chinese fiction with. And it's like, th this shit we're saying is so fucking dumb. But it's like, that's how a lot of them just are. And I, like, every time we do it, it's like, I wouldn't be surprised if there is just one of these out here that are just exactly like this to the word. Which is, a, it's a shame, because they have a lot of, like, interesting concepts in their, like, fantasy stories with, like, the magic and all this stuff. But they're almost always like the same exact story beats, no matter where you look at them. Yeah, all of their uh, stories are like retakes of the stories they already have. Mm hmm. So in the end, it's like, eh. I, Which, I guess. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but they're not really separating themselves in any way. It's not like, oh, I was inspired by this story to do this thing. Instead, it's, oh, I'm going to write yeah. this story again, but with my characters. Yeah, it, it's like, uh... 
when they made Star Wars, instead of doing it sci-fi, they did it with samurai. Mm. Because that's what Star Wars originally is, you know? Yeah. It's just one of those uh, Yojimbo-like movies, supposedly. There is one uh, Spaghetti Western that is very much exactly the same story as Yojimbo. Really? Yes. Beat per beat, but... It's with, uh... Is it with cowboys, with cowboys instead? instead yeah, of, uh... yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. It looks like it's about to storm. I think we're supposed to get rain again for the next two days. Let's see, weather. Uh, oh, it's apparently going to rain now today. And then it's supposed to storm tomorrow and then rain again Tuesday. Oh, oh, apparently yeah. there's also a warning not to be out on the water. Uh, even the Wikipedia page for you, Jimbo, mentions it was unofficially remade by Sergio Leone as the spaghetti western film A Fistful of Dollars. <laughs> okay. Leading to a lawsuit by Toho. I'm not even surprised. Yeah, so we're apparently going to get rain, and uh, don't be on the water, apparently. Oh, so it's going to be a lot of rain? It's apparently going to be because of the winds. Let me yeah. pull that up again and look. I mean, it's usually one or the other. It'd be nice if it gave like me like, a full thing for this. Like, I actually have to remind myself that you have an actual river. Uh, like... We got a lake. Is it just a lake? Yeah, it's the Niagara Falls. It's the I lake mean, that connects trying... to the falls. I was trying not to say... That. I know. On stream. I've mentioned before that I live, like, in the area. Like, oh, yeah, I live by, like, because I obviously don't live at the falls. But, um, it's like, I live by, like, fucking Lake Erie or whatever. Like, I, that's no, no, no. so you, much you, fucking you, water. You live at the falls. Yeah, yeah, I live at Niagara Falls. Um, I walk outside and I, I can see the May of the Mist right there, man. Man. What I mean by river is that you actually have, like, moving water. Oh, okay. yeah, okay. Like, it's not just stationary. Yeah, it's not like an artificial lake or anything. You know, damn man-made stuff, things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, even... Like, even natural ones can get to be pretty, like, stagnant. Yeah. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, that tends to be because they get cut off from whatever water sources were originally feeding them. Mm-hmm. And then just end up being full of bugs. Oh, yeah. Winds up to 40 miles per hour. Oh, hell yeah. Fun. Although, I think that's just going to be out in the water. I doubt it's going to be, like actually inland perfect for kiting <laughs> dude i actually remember um i had a kite when i was a kid and we had to go pretty high but we were like oh what if we just take the string from this kite and add it on to this kite <laughs> so it just went twice as high and holy shit the wind's up there <laughs> yep like um like you couldn't pull it back down like you normally would like you could just like grab the string of the kite and like pull it back down or whatever no you had to like 
take the... So it was a plastic piece that held, like, the kite string, right? You had to take it and, like, slowly wind it back up to get the kite to come back down. And it actually bent the, um, the handle in half doing it. And this wasn't, like, cheap Chinese, like, plastic, like, snaps in half or anything. This was, like... Yeah, it doesn't sound like it. This was thick, hard, like, plastic. And just bent it right in half. It was, like, no fucks given. I think it was like 200 or 300 feet up or something was the total string length. I don't know how much that is. Uh, I don't use uh, I don't use the gen measurements. I think it's like roughly 100 meters or some shit. I mean, you live at the falls. You're basically Canadian. No. <laughs> you, you should know you are a meter. So that's apparently about 91.44 meters. So close enough to a uh, Yeah, it's a bit. Gypsurus up. I mean, you have Lake Ontario right next to you. What is the what is Ontario if not Canada? Hi. Well, good thing I changed cameras, huh? Yeah. We're like nowhere near that next rank. <laughs> I mean, that, that's this game in a nutshell. Like we're about to hit um 22. Then we have to get 23 and we'll get the urgent. And then we have to be 24 to actually play. Yeah. Oh, he spawned where he is. Is it where he is? Yeah, I hear him stomping around on the other end. Okay. I don't. Oh, yeah, I hear him pretty clearly. Please. And he spotted me. Oh, told uh, whetstone. He is super stuck. Probably running after me. Yeah. It looks funny, though. Holy shit. An what? actual paintball. Oh, yeah. I remember this time. We have to get him out of that corner, though. Gypsus, please, dude. Oh. Okay, well, that Starting, works. Maybe. Oh. Time waster. No, he literally just flew to the other side. Yeah. What a bro. Ow. Oh my god, that fucking poisoned me. Yeah, I was afraid of him doing that. Nice. It's your turn. Of course, the fucking best boy hit me. Any day now, where is he going? What the gypsy is doing? Is he's, he? Stuck? He's freaking out out of bounds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
He'll fix it eventually, probably. And he's resetting. <laughs> well, it gave me time to heal my poison. That was nice of him. I can't tell if it's the camera angle or if he's bigger than last time. I can't tell either. Got him. What? Yeah, the shockwave has a pretty high uh, hitbox. Mm. Like, deceptively high. So it is possible to hit his heads uh, with a shockwave. There he goes! Run, chicken, run! That's a movie. Yeah, it is. I understood that reference. It got a sequel recently. Yeah, I heard it got a sequel I and that believe. it was bad. Yes, exactly. You know, go figure. You know, beloved old movie that everybody liked gets shit sequel to try and cash in on it. For some reason, like 30 or 40 years later, something like that. I mean, it's sequels. Yeah, you walk into that one. Yeah, it happens. It's sequels <laughs> and uh, remakes. Yep. Always uh, trying to catch in on nostalgia. I mean, it's how. Pokemon games keep getting made, and people keep buying them. <laughs> In fact, it's Nintendo's entire uh, business model. It's a shame, because I thought they were doing pretty well with Pokemon up until, um, like, Sun and Moon, mostly. I don't have any serious issues with Sun and Moon, but it definitely isn't great. I respect Sun and Moon for uh, trying something new. Yeah, same. Um, I haven't played X and Y myself, so I can't comment on actual Gen 6. Uh, but the remakes of right. the Gen 3 games in Gen 6 were really good. I got bored playing Omega Ruby. They definitely could have been better. Like, it sucks that they weren't just better forehead. They're at least better than the Diamond and Pearl remakes, which are, like, garbage. Uh, I didn't get to those. They're basically straight-up ports, but with, um, the Link's Awakening art style. And you can move diagonally now, yeah. which makes it, uh, really... not great. Yeah, they basically <laughs> just gave us really shitty, like, chibi versions of the what used to be really nice-looking pixel art. Well, I played it on stream when it came out. Like, the thing with uh, X and Y is that it has barely any content. Like, yeah, I've heard. I love how that lets you super armor through that, what the fuck? Yeah, it doesn't usually. I, I don't know how I got through that. I, I think, actually, I think I know what happened. You hit me at the same time and it registered your hits. Maybe. So I didn't get 
customs. I've never seen a Vespoid in that pose. It was like actually sitting on the ground like an ant after it got flashed. I've never seen that. I always only just see them on their back. I didn't know they could like recover and get on their like, you know, belly. All right, did you hear that mail? Maybe I was too busy speaking. I had yeah. Gypsers' theme blaring in the background. Because the phone hasn't moved. Hmm. So I was wondering. Nothing found. Nothing found. Nothing found. Yeah. Herb found. Paralyzed. Fuck you too. Yeah. Next time. Yeah, yeah, totally. you leaving already? Yep. Probably. We weren't there immediately, so he's like, all right, bye. All right, bye. I'm, I'll go to nine. Or oh, ten, ten, thankfully. How oh, nice. How oh, nice of him. An actual decent spot to fight him. Pretty much anything is just better than nine. Much less likely to uh, time waste over here. We'll see. I mean... He doesn't have two spots to sit in. True. So he won't be flying from one side to the other. Oh great, he flashed all the white cats. Now they're gonna attack us because of it. <laughs> yeah. Fucking forgot about that. It's really dumb how they get aggroed on the players. Like, dude, we didn't do it. That's a mega barrel. I mean, I mean if we didn't antagonize the monsters. No, no. The monsters. <laughs> Definitely missed this uh, sound effect. Oh, the dragon effect? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think Adam had the fire dual blades in one of the Kaku runs. It's like, oh yeah, uh, I really yeah. missed hearing that. <laughs> it's okay, I saved you. How did that flash me through my guard? Oh, thanks, cats. Oh, holy. That cats was actual, actually like Calico. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, stunned. man, let me help you out. I was stunned. He came next to me and gave me, <laughs> gave me a hit. Oh, nice mega barrel bomb. I do love that they just randomly have those. And they don't just have bombs, they have large bombs. No, cats, don't, don't, don't. I have no stamina to roll. Oh, he's chasing with the bomb. <laughs> yeah. I can't see it on my end, so that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fucking paintball were off. Mm. 
I bet she's gonna be in line. Probably. A sec. Got a sticky. To look after. You see, I, I also have. <laughs> I also have a nephew, I gotta. <laughs> I also got a child nephew I gotta look after. Come on, man. Sticky's not sitting there watching Sniper Wolf, at least. I don't know what he actually watches. Yeah, I'm not sure. He was asking me about the um, Final Fantasy VII reunion and rebirth <laughs> games recently. I know, I, I know what he what he watches, actually. He yeah. watches a um, synopsis, video synopsis of uh, movies and TV shows. Mm. And of anime, like, instead of actually watching them. Duh. <laughs> I mean, it's still better than, you know, the child's content my actual nephew is watching. Yeah. Quote unquote, quote unquote child's content. I mean, if, if YouTube says it's child content, I guess it is. I guess. Yeah, like uh, Spider Man and Elsa. Oh, God. Like, that kind of stuff is still there, by the way. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. I have no doubt in my mind. Too quick. Again. Can't actually tell with the uh, lighting in here. The lighting's pretty good here for me. Oh, I got it well done. Rip. Oh, hey, Gypsros came back. Ah, there it is. I just had to do it in, in the shade. Just had to give it your best Leonidas impression. How that hit you? Hits. Again. I don't know how that hit me. Come over here. Goes to the other side. Yep. And or maybe that's... not. Oh, uh, you know, so that's looking kind of good. Ah, I changed my mind. I'm going to go over here. Well, the grass really is greener on the other side. Uh, it's tight. We should actually probably let him leave the five. Yeah? Why? Yeah, so we can mine. <laughs> yeah, fine. Well, you can't run through the wind. Weak. Listen, man, I'm only wearing the armor of a mountain, okay? Like, I can't be going through wind like that.
thanks. Yeah, no problem. This fucking Lost Spray would die. There we go. You think he'll just go to bed if we ignore him? Yeah. Cool, I got one fucking hit. And it was tapped out. What the hell, man? My luck today is so bad. Time. Right as my uh, hammer drop sharpness. Nice. Huh. His wing or something is clipping into his body right there, so that looks really weird. Looks like there's just a black hole in his model. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go mine six. Anything of worth. Hey, Dragonite. Rip. I guess a hey, Dragonite's better than nothing. Yeah. Constellation prize again. Constellation prize. Sure. Is that what you said? It's a constellation. Like a secondary thing. Not constellation yeah. like the stars. Yeah, a constellation. Yes. You know, like console. Like, you can't blame me. Because sometimes you say... Yeah, I know. Wrong. Yeah, I know. Like, Pliaslav. <laughs> yeah. That's his name. His name is Pliaslav. Like, what else are you supposed to call him? That's his name. <clears throat> Sell that. Mm. Oh, rusted great sword. Oh god, I need... I need 20 Carbolite just for the Divine Slicer, or Devil Slicer. And I need 10 Thunder Sacks, god damn. Destroyed. Hopes and dreams demolished. You'll get it once you get the Volcano. I'll be able to get either of those upgraded. I still would kind of like the Blushing Dame. Anything that I could upgrade. 
I think those couple are the only, like, actual G rank weapons that could upgrade. Oh, right, I have the guild savers that I can't do anything with because I need more light crystals. I can't do anything with my Lao sword until we do G rank Lao. I could technically try and make the Kutku hammer. But it's like, eh, it's about the same attack as uh, as the Lao hammer that I'm already using. Mm. I wouldn't and bother then. It doesn't, and it doesn't have the dragon. Yeah. There's also the Gypsurus hammer, but it's less attack. Like, I want to make poison. more weapons for G rank, but it's like a lot of them are barely better than their high rank counterpart or just mm -hmm. take crazy stuff to make where it's like, yeah. I don't think I'd be able to have that stuff before we finish this playthrough. <laughs> At least not without specifically farming for it, like, on my own time. I mean, I guess... The Gypsus one has more poison than the Gravios one. Yeah, but can't you upgrade the Gravios one when we get to a uh, Gravios? No, I mean... It has more poison than the fully upgraded Gravios one. Oh. That's interesting, yeah, it might make it good for, like, Diablos or something, then. It has... Uh, about a hundred less attack. Ooh. Uh, yeah, and a hundred and fifty more poison. I don't personally think that balances out. I mean, maybe, but it doesn't sound like it would. Although, for something like Diablo specifically, if you can get it proccing, then it might actually be better. Just because you'd have the proc damage on it while you can't do anything. Yeah, just been the entire time. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, specifically for Diablos, maybe I should make those uh, dual blades that Adam was showing off. The paralysis sleep ones. They were <laughs> the absolutely crazy. The thing is, I don't think they do any damage. But if the monster can't move for the entire time, then, you know. Yeah, it, you would use that one, and I would make a... Uh... A lance. Yeah. <laughs> For damage. Let me look them up real fast. Not actually sure where they are in this, though. Sleep and paralysis. Hey, Red. What's up, Red? Is this where all the cool people are? This is where all the cool people that like Monster Hunter are. Of course. Oh, interesting. Well, the wiki shows that that weapon only has sleep. But it very clearly has sleep and paralysis. Uh huh. Was that Noble? No, I'm playing with Sozu. Noble won't play this game. And if he did, you would just restart? <laughs> After a while without telling you?
I actually don't think Noel would do that. That's what Clown Face likes to do, just randomly restarting shit. Uh, yeah, I was... I was confused. Yeah, I thought you might have had him confused. <laughs> I mean, they're the other two that you play with the most. I haven't actually played many things with Noble on stream. Yeah, not on stream. We were supposed to play Outward, Outward together. He's like, oh, ZL, dude, uh, you should buy Outward and like we could do a playthrough together. You said you were wanting to play that with somebody, right? Like, I, I have it. I want to play it with somebody, too. Dude, it's on sale right now. You should get it. And I, got, I was like, cool, we can uh, we can start this playthrough, like, soon-ish, TM. And then Dragon's Dogma 2 came out, and you know, like, Dragon's Dogma 2, and he's like, I don't know how to tell you this, man, but uh, I'm a bit tuckered out from the whole, like, open-ish world game. Like, I might need some time. It's like, uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. These dual blades damage isn't actually as bad as I thought it was. The thing is, we'd have to do the fucking Famitsu Blue Wyverns quest a shit ton. Yeah, I gotta check my items. It's probably a good thing that I didn't start on the good on the uh, Gypsum's hammer. Yeah. Why? Uh, because it needs a gypsum's head. Oh, good luck with that. Yes, exactly. So I, I went. I just went to check if I had one, just in case. Like it's expensive, zenny wise. Oh, I'm so sure a lot of the weapons are. But, and five toxin sacks. But the path to it is relatively cheap. Mm. I imagine it's another Gypsyrus. Yeah, we're going to the swamp this time. Change your scenery, you know. All right, single hot drink. <laughs> Yeah, I got that as well. Yeah, so I want to start outward at some point, but uh, I don't know if I should wait for Noble or like try to get my brother to play with it me, with me instead. But my brother is like not super reliable schedule wise to play things with, so it's like hmm, I don't know. It's also not on sale currently, so I couldn't even be like, oh, Zan, I'll gift this to you if you'll play with me, kind of thing. Because the game seems like it would be really fun. Oh, hi, Bolfango. Oh, I actually started at the base. What? This, this feels weird. <laughs> yeah, you get a K in G rank, but it's kind of rare. Oh, there's a Holy bowler shit. blocking this. That's annoying. What's Holy up? Shit. Kelby. There's Kelby and G-Rank? Excuse me? I don't believe you. I... Time for murder. No, you should let me hit them too. But I have to mine oh, here right, instead. Come, come over here then. It's I mean, fucking you'll cats. be the one fighting Gypsurus by yourself while I'm mining. Dude, these fucking One, cats are two, so annoying. Three, four, five. Five, I need this Bolfango to destroy this boulder for me. <laughs> I, I see it now. <laughs> Listen, man, it works, okay? Yeah, I know it does. I wish you'd get stuck on it, though. I mean, if I was there, I could hit the, the rock myself. You could, too. Yeah, but it takes so much longer doing it ourselves. Just spam the uh, overhead.
All right, yeah, I'm gonna get a Bofango you. head here, totally. 1% chance, let's go. Nope. That was a thank you, Bofango. Took three hits. Yeah, they're all like that now. For me, at least. I'm still sub-1000 attack, I believe, with the sword's natural attack. Oh. Great. Gypsers came over here. Nice. Please, Gypsers. I just, I just wanted to curse some Kelby. Asking for too much. I'm letting them leave. All right. I'll go get your mining spots or something. That's what I'm doing. So, um. Have you seen the game Outward, or...? The what? The game Outward. No. It looks fun. Might not even have heard of it. It seems like it's gonna be, like, pretty jank, but it does seem fun. Although it is, like, uh... kind of like an open-world game from what I understand, so you probably wouldn't be super interested in it. Like, I may have seen the name. Like, like if Elias was doing a, uh, a stream of it or something. Mm. Like, probably uh, sponsored or something like that. What the hell? There's a Bolfango in Area 8. Two Bolfango. Nice. Yeah, they like being down there. I don't remember them here. And They're there like all the time, yeah. Like you've definitely complained about them being down there before. Well, good thing I have you to remember for me. Yeah, somebody's got a rumber. Most irrelevant shit, gotta remember it. I'm gonna paintball the ships just before leaving. We would land sometime within the next year. Oh, he didn't flash. Weird. All right. Thanks for the for the Wolfango head. I'm gonna be so pissed if you get a third one. No, I didn't. Absolute bullshit. It was very funny that I got two of them, though. This man's over here with all the rare carves for no reason. And my stamina bar is looking awesome. Did you not bring that hot drink you said you were bringing? I did, but why would I drink it now when I have two spots? Up there. I drank mine up there and it's still in effect. Well, I wasn't sure if it would be. Yeah, they're like five effect. minutes or something. If not longer. Oh, we got more hogs over here. Plus, I had a well run steak. Yeah, I keep those when I make them, because I can turn them into a um, Mega Dash juice later. Oh, I just use them. I mean, it's hell, if you want to not keep them, you could always just hand them off to me. I'll take them. No, no, no. I make use of them. I'll trade you one raw meat for one well-done steak. <laughs> Uh, 
I mean, that's a good, that's a good trade. Get something good? Single. Single hit in. Oh. I'm curious, did the boulder respawn when he went there? Uh, I'm at 11. I'm going to the one with the boulder now. It'd be really funny if the boulder respawns when you leave the area, that'd be so dumb. It's all good as long as Bolfango is in there. Nope, no Bolfango and no Brock. Interesting. Ancient. Another one? What the fuck, dude? And nothing. I haven't gotten a single one yet, and I barely even get Carvalite. Maybe the game is giving me all the ancient shots because my boxes are full. Yeah. Clear some stuff out of it, man. So you want to come kill the Kelby? Oh, uh, yeah. Where were they in uh, Area 1? Yeah, Area 2. One is the camp. Oh. Uh. All right, let's see them Kelby hides. Fuck. Nice. What do you mean nice? Is one dying? Yeah. I don't end. see a dead one anymore. What the fuck? Okay, well. You, you, you actually hit it. Tell, oh, can you sit that on my end? Like on my ends, you hit the actual Kelby, and the, the same Kelby that you hit was the one that died. Weird. Well, and I'll be Yeah, Gypsus is coming. You brought him here. How could you? Oh. It was all the sabotage of the farming plan. Kelby Horn. I got one as well. Attack, what the fuck? There we go. Oh. Guess I rolled that one. He didn't flash. Ah, oh, okay. He didn't on actually get ends. it off, he flinched first. Yeah, on my ends, the screen flashed. Mm. What the fuck is this guy? Hot drink has expired. Really sucks getting hit by the tail like that. Tail into tree. Oh, don't. Ow. That's very unfortunate.
I'm like fairly confident that for some reason he just can't break his head with the great sword. Yeah, I've hit it shit tons in prior hunts and it just never breaks. You sure you've hit his head and not his neck? Yeah. Like, I've even tried it on the um, emulator with the uh, time frozen thing just to test oh. it out and I still couldn't do it. Like the only time I've ever seen it break was somebody using a lance. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course it was a lance. All right, Kelby, come back. If we leave the area and come back, they should respawn immediately. Meteor stick. Yeah, where are they? There they are. Another horn. Another horn. From a female Calvi. And another horn. And another horn. Did I even get a single? Nope. Ah oh, no, I did. I, I got, got a pelt. Got two pelts. It sounded like there were more, but I don't actually see any, so. No, the, I think it's just the ambience. Were... Yeah, there were six in total, and I killed one at the uh. start. And I got total six items. It's weird how rare they are after low rank. Okay, I saved you from the stomping. You saved me from the wave tactics, Bullfangos. Oh, my sharpness decreased at some point. Ow. Jerseys. I'm just here trying to kill some Bofango. Okay, that should be the last of them. Holy stomp damage. Oh. Ow. And he's leaving. Well, at least he didn't spend a half hour flying.
pot shrink run out. Yeah, they last a while. Like, I just had the idea of uh, it running out once or something. So I was like, ah, I'll just let my stamina run out. And I ate and then drink for the other two. Well, it was actually in range. Oh, right, fake death. It's like, why is his hitbox gone? I didn't get my free hit that time, what the hell? Wow, you went so far away. Yeah, I figured you'd go back. Ow. You're fine. I'm at half health, what do you mean I'm fine? The health bar is half empty. I tried rolling through it. Didn't work. Bro, leave me alone. That's not as easy on, as uh, in newer games. In newer games, you may as well have fucking evade window compared to this game. Yeah, yeah in the newer games, it's like playing Dark Souls. It's very funny, because I don't remember who, but somebody did mention that apparently the iframes between this game and, like, Gen 5 aren't that different. If that's true, it's just, like, the monsters fucking, like, the way they interact with you must be yeah, completely different. Like, oh, if you interact with it during an iframe, it just cancels it or some shit. Like, effectively, you may as well have a Vade window. Like, the monsters are also slower in this one. Like, they're not constantly spasming. Yeah. Which is funny, saying that after beating Gypsorus. Yeah. <laughs> Literally does nothing but spam, like, a couple things, but he's, like, somehow not... <laughs> I don't know, like, not as, like, ADHD as current gen monsters, where they have to move, 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 move. Still no gold crown. Sucks. Hey, Cryo. How's your day, man? Never getting gold crown. Sup, Cryo. Cryo crow. You're just here for, uh, you know, one of the best games ever made. Totally. Totally. Monster Energy, a game only released in Japan for the PS2. One of the best games ever, right? I mean, yeah. It is honestly surprisingly fun. The best things are always get kept. True. Slow day, huh? Hmm. At least it doesn't sound like any like 
garbage was going on. I need Wilds to be out. Ah, uh, uh, you're gonna have to wait. Sorry. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait on that one. I need Wilds to tell me how the hunting horn is. <laughs> uh, by the way, I got a pure crystal. Oh, fuck you. Of course you did. Yeah. And of course I don't have room. We were talking about the wild stuff a bit earlier. Yeah. Mostly how Steam baited me into thinking there was more Monster Hunter news and then it was just them talking about Monster Hunter stories for whatever reason. And me being really upset by that. Wake up. See Monster Hunter news on Steam, get excited, click, just Monster Hunter stories. It's like, all right, well, this didn't matter at all. Feels real bad. We are currently trying to farm for a gold crown gypsurus, as well as just farming points. I did. Okay. Because in this game, you can't progress to the next hunter, um, like star missions, unless you're actually that rank and you have to grind for the HR. To get to each rank, it's like, wow. Any monsters or Elden Dragons you hope to return? Ah. Uh, I think my boy uh, Molten yes, Tigrix yeah. needs to come back. I think Yamo Tsukami needs to come back. Oh, God. You never even fought him. <laughs> yeah, that's why you should come back. Maybe you should fight him in Monster Hunter 2 or Free Night before you go around saying this. <laughs> Maybe you should see what he was like before, you know, asking for curses. No, no. Uh, apparently I would have to play, to play uh, both 2 and uh, Freedom Unite, because they're different, different fights. Apparently, yeah, apparently in Dose, like, he's like a siege fight like Lao Shen, where you, like, chase him and stuff at first. And then for a minute, they just cut out that entire part and just have you fight him immediately. I guess kind of like Generation 5's uh, Kova Taroth, where in Master Rank, they just let you skip the entire chase and just fight her and kill her. I mean... Or at least that's what I've been told. Yeah. Go on. I, I was actually just thinking of uh, the way you... That it is in world. No. Oh. Yeah, I was confusing. Yeah, you had the entire section where you're chasing with the cannons and breaking off parts. Oh, now I started in seven. And now I'm down in four. And I didn't bring a hot drink because I didn't know what we were hunting. <laughs> Wrecked. So now I have to deal with all of these cats and. Boars. Yeah, I think uh, I'd like to see Molten Tigers so again. Like, Molten Tigers is the only rare species that got left out of Rise, which is kind of fucked up. And it's not even like they don't have Tigrix in that game to work on it to have his, like, model done already. Like, I don't really get why Molten Tigrix is the only one that didn't come back. Damn it. Got them Bullfango. In cahoots with the cats. Like one of the cats actually took a mega potion. It's fucking rip. I 
As for other monsters, I'm mostly fine with not really seeing a bunch of returning monsters as long as the new monsters are interesting. Like, one of my big problems with Rise is a lot of the new monsters just weren't cool or fun. It was cool that they had a ton of new monsters in Rise. Most of the monsters in Rise were just brand new, specifically for that game. That was awesome. Too bad most of them just sucked. Yeah. Aside from uh, Gamer Garen. Yeah, Gamer Garen, um, and whatever the, like, Yeti... Whatever his name was. Uh, Goss yeah. Harag. Yeah, Goss Harag. Gamer Garen and Goss Harag were cool. The new Fire Spider was cool, Rock Nakadaki. That was cool, but, like, I didn't care for the fight too much. Yeah, the fight wasn't great. It, it was a spectacle. Kind yeah, of it was cool seeing, like, all of its stuff, but, like, it wasn't really fun to do. That might me just breaking the uh, rock myself. And I was really pissed about all the, like, mall versions of monsters they showed. Like, I saw the Zamites and the baby Tetsukabara and all this, and I got super hyped that they were going to bring back Zamtrus and Tetsukabara, and then they didn't. And I was like, what the fuck, man? Oh, wow. Unionor. Wow, lucky you. I mean, I have no use for it. <laughs> Like, I, I've been getting Union or and still haven't used any. Like, not, not on this stream. On this stream, it's the first one I get, but in other streams. Yeah. yeah I got some, too, and I don't think I have a use for it until, like, the final level of the Guild Dual Blades. Yeah. More Wolfango here. Namiel oh, yeah, was another, a... Go on. Another issue with uh, Rise. It brought in Bolfang brought back Bolfangos, but they were tiny and <laughs> didn't do anything. Super tiny, didn't matter, and there was no Boldrome, like Mon Man. Yeah, no Boldrome, and... Uh... Right. And there was only one at a time. Yeah, there weren't six like, constantly trying to corner fuck you like in this game. Shaking my head. Uh, of course. Single Asian shards and nothing else. At least you're getting something. I mean... I al already have a few. <laughs> yeah, it's better to have more. Oh my god, I got a Carbolite. But, um, nice. I like Namiel. The The basic Namiel fight sucks, though. It's super fucking boring and, like, not threatening at all. Mm hmm. Arc tempered Namiel, that was a fight. That was a fun one. I like that. But don't don't tell that to, uh. to the Fivers. <laughs> yeah, apparently a lot of people had troubles with normal basic Namiel and then had a lot of trouble with, um,. Like, insane amounts of trouble with Arc Tempered. I thought it was a non-issue. The Arc Tempered fight just... A big problem with a lot of the fights in the world for Elder Dragons is pretty much any time they released an Arc Tempered Elder Dragon, that just felt like what the Elder Dragon should have been. I mean, yeah, At least for the new Elders. They, but then they couldn't re-release re it as a Arc Tempered version. Like, I will tell you right now, I fucking hated fighting Arc Tempered Belhazak because his miasma was annoying as fuck. But he yeah, was much more threatening than normal Belhazak, who was a joke. Yeah, unless you had a hunting horn with the Theostra. <laughs> yeah, but that will still just burn your health away regardless. Like, you, you won't get the uh, Blight, but it still does crazy tick damage. Yeah, but though that tick damage is like barely there I guess like Arc Tempered Namiel Arc Tempered Velcana those were great fights 
And it just, Holy it took shit. these two monsters that were like worthless and made them actual fights. It was great. I loved it. And I also like Namiel's armor. Uh, I don't know if like you're talking about the female stuff when you say you didn't really care for the way the armor looks, but I think the male set looked pretty nice. I liked the look of the female set as well. Our tempered Kushala made all my friends quit base world. <laughs> there. Because <laughs> it was just Kushala flying constantly again, but more. So, you know, that's fair. They completely ruined Kushala Deor's fight in world. It's stupid. Yeah, can't wait to fight him in those. Yeah, I can't wait to see what he's like originally. He's like, definitely gonna be wearing uh, Diablos. <laughs> so, like, I yeah. The... Like, it's crazy, because in Free Unite and 4U, the two games that I played the most before World, I mean, I played quite a bit of Gen, but a lot of that time that I spent on Gen was spent replaying the game, because my save constantly got corrupted or deleted. Charlotte was one of the fights that I just really liked doing. I like the way he interacted with the poison weapons and all that. And then they basically completely removed that mechanic in world, and it's like, why the fuck would you do this? This is objectively a bad decision. Nobody's going to like this. And you know what? Oh, Nobody liked Elder Seal. Everybody hated it. On the Elder Seal stuff. Yeah, everybody hated it. I don't I have never talked to a single person that was like, yeah, Elder Seal, that was a great mechanic. I'm glad they had that. My eyes. I don't know why, but that one felt really bright. Probably because this area is foggy. I actually made a second character the male because I wasn't really a fan of the female's armors in that game. Fair. I mean, yeah, most of the fem female armor is not good, but that goes for most. Uh, yeah, as far as I can tell, most of the time, the female sets just look worse in pretty much every game across the board. Most modern gun games. Rise has some nice ones. But it's because <laughs> they're finally learning, I guess. Maybe they're finally learning that people aren't just... They're finally learning what MMORPG means. <laughs> yeah. Many men online role-playing girl girls. Mean that you have to be wearing a skirt all the time. <laughs> and, and that your thighs have to be exposed. I was gonna say, to be fair, the Kieran armor isn't wearing a skirt, but then you said the exposed thighs, so, uh... I guess, uh, that goes out the window. I actually like the male version of Kieran's armor. Not the one with, like, all the skin exposed, but the one where it's, like, actual clothing. Like, it looks like you're wearing, like, black cloth underneath, like, all the armor, it looks pretty good. Biggest problem for you was helmets. Kinda, yeah. I did spend quite a bit of time just with the setting turned off. Like the setting to show your helmet. Mm -hmm. uh, but my biggest issue is the huge ass. Uh, Cards, like the one from Rathian. Yeah, the Rathian one looks absolutely ridiculous. And it's not the only one like that. Mm -hmm. There's the... Uh, the one that looks like Black Metal. That could be a starts lot of them. The, the name starts with a D. Like, it looks like a... Black... Iron. Mm. 
armor. Like actual armor. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. I can't recall its name though. But it's got one set that looks like black and another one that looks like it's blue. Yeah. The hell? Where, where are the bodies? <sighs> well, I guess I'm not getting. Oh, yeah, those two just left. There's two more. No, I don't see any. Oh, weird. Way too many helmets show the face when I want it to be a badass helmet. I don't have problems that showing the face. Like, this is an open face one. The issue is, um... When no, they you do have you do have issues with that because you don't like the Rathian, the Rathian set when it shows the face. Yeah, I was gonna say the issue is when it's an open face mask and it looks fucking stupid. Like that specific Rathian one with the open helm, where it's like that just looks fucking stupid. Or um, I also really don't like the Tigrix helm where it, like it's like a visor that just shows like your face. Like it's not an actual helm; it's just like a face mask thing, but without an actual mask. It looks really fucking stupid. The Tiger Sons that are clothed? Great. Awesome. Love them. Yeah, the issue is when it's open face and it looks fucking stupid. Like the Amatsu. Amatsu set in um, Rise does it. And it looks awful. Like, the way it should be is that during hunts, it should be closed, and in the village, it should be open. I would have less of a problem with that. Because, like, they're always talking about how they want to make you feel immersed in the, in the Monster Hunter world. Yeah, I would be all for, like, showing, like, the open helmet and stuff in a village, but on hunt, like... Maybe like you land in the hunt and you close your face mask or something. Like you have like a little like, animation before the actual hunt starts. That'd be like cool. It's why it's why there's the whole ecology stuff mm -hmm. with the monsters. It's why the world why... feels very like lived in. Yeah. With like the monsters and stuff like that. It's more it's much more believable the way the things are. But then it's like, but oh here's an open didn't... face mask in combat. Yeah. And it's not even like this, where it's I... like a proper like old style helmet it's like you have a knight's helmet with a fucking visor that you can put down and you're just not doing it it looks really bad like it's why i don't particularly mind like the thighs showing because movement they're hunters so they kind of have to move a lot yeah that makes sense realistically like, for it, a lot of things yeah. like bows bow guns, dual blades, sword and shield, you'd probably want that kind of armor to be more mobile. No. Like, that makes sense. There's no real problem with that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Cryo. They should do it like FF14. Like FF14, <laughs> a game running on an engine from, <laughs> like, 2009. <laughs> Oh yeah, right, the last expansion was the one that uh, updated the models, right? Cryo. I can't believe they don't have PNG grapes anymore. I think they kept the, uh, the grapes be because of memes. Yeah, there you go, just got the graphics update. So what's your thoughts on the graphics update? Yeah, the issue with the helmets uh, having face the shown. the actual, the only opinion that matters is uh, women's opinion on Orshifal. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, it's a character that gets a lot of uh, women mm. obsessed with it. Yeah, like my issue with open masks or open face or shown face in this game series isn't, oh, I don't want to see my face. It's, oh, that helmet looks fucking stupid showing your face. That's the real problem. Yeah, 
why would you go on a hunt <laughs> with a hel with a helmet open? Which in world it was all of them. Yeah, a lot of them. If you had the beta set, just showed the face, and they all pretty much all looked stupid because of it. I mean, like I said, this Lao Shen armor, this has an open face, but it doesn't look bad. And it also doesn't have a visor it could close. Like, this looks fine. Uh, right, I would need a picture of that Aura guy. I haven't played 14 in forever. Yeah, he hasn't played Final Fantasy 14 since he was AFK playing it uh, during my DMD sessions. You know? No, I was not the one doing that. You were definitely playing Final Fantasy XIV during the D&D sessions. Oh, I I did do that, didn't yeah. I? Yeah, you did. Good times. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even remember what I was doing, but I remember it wasn't... Anything of importance in the game. And in the game, I mean the MMO. Like, definitely just farming something. Probably. Or another. Or moving from one place to another, delivering quests. Yeah, you're off delivering somebody's carrots. Ow. The chosen hero of the chores. Yeah, I stopped in the... Shadowbringers, I think. Like, right, right before the first... Uh, big boss. Like the first summon boss. I can't believe Big Boss was in that game. How'd they get the rights from Konami? Yeah, I know. I know, right? That's crazy. <laughs> Just looking at it. <laughs> It'd be really cool if this poison stops so I could start regenerating my health. Oh, there we go. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to eat another steak. How far did your stamina drop already? Uh, I had 50. Wow. It was at 50 now. Because, remember... Oh yeah, you didn't bring I'm a cold drink, right. And you're also hungry yeah. all the time. No, oh, my health! Thing. Why'd you have to jump? I had like half my health I could have still regened. Yeah, I forgot the Diablo set constantly makes you hungry. Ooh, that's a question, Cryo. That sure is a question. I have some opinions on that. Uh, the Behemoth fight in World. Speaking of Final Fantasy XIV, how do you guys feel about the Behemoth fight in World? When I was playing uh, it... Actually, no, you go first, Ozu. Yeah, well, I got good memories of that because it's the first time we played together. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you can say what you were gonna say. Yeah, so, um... My first time... Playing the Behemoth stuff and all that. Like, I thought, cool, this is really cool. Like, this is a cool collab, it's actually something different. And it's... Seemingly like something from the actual game, right? So I thought that was pretty cool. Now I have issues with the Behemoth fight because it introduced a lot of shit that they kept going within the rest of the fights for the big monsters. With the instant party wipes with pretty much nothing you can do about it. Which don't belong in Monster Hunter. Period. It was fine on Behemoth because Behemoth literally is not from Monster Hunter. But then putting that shit on Xeno Jiva, not Xeno Jiva, Safi Jiva, and um, 
fucking Elatrion, I was not a fan. I was not a fan of them continuing to do that stuff. Oh. Don't go. Kelby. I mean, you say that, Cryo, but if you're in a party, you can just brute force past all that. You can also brute force past it solo. I just... On the recent run, I was like, oh, I would need this, 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 and this to do that. And I don't feel like farming that, so I didn't. Look, I enjoyed the fight. It was fun, and it was cool playing it with people. But I don't like what yeah. it did to the other future big fights for the series. I mean, they even still continue to do that. They have, um... Fucking Amatsu's thing. Where if you don't, like, do it properly, you just die no matter what. I think, uh, didn't All Mother Narwa have one as well? Where if you, like, didn't knock her out of the sky when she was charging it up, she would just kill you? Cryo... Puts up uh, good points. You wouldn't be surprised if we got another 14 collabing wilds. I wouldn't be surprised either. I wouldn't be surprised either. Although my first thought was, oh, they would actually want to do 16. <laughs> like Square Enix would want to do 16 instead. By the time wilds out, 16 will be too old and like irrelevant. Exactly. That's what I thought right after. And then I thought, well. The logo for Wilds as a snake, so they w would have the skeleton for Leviathan. I mean, they showed Leviathans in the trailers already, so... Unless you mean Leviathan, like, the summon Leviathan from Final Fantasy. I mean the summon Leviathan. Mm. Did I not carve that Gypsurus? What the fuck happened? <laughs> also, Leviathan has a pretty sick song in 14. Nice. Spain beat England. Still no gold crown. Not even a larger silver crown. Yeah, but unless they, like... The only way I could see a collab of 16 happening is if it's, like, also announced with Final Fantasy 16 getting off of PlayStation exclusivity, coming to PC and Xbox. Like, I could see them getting a collab at that point for 16, but otherwise, by the time... I mean, hell, even right now, 16 is irrelevant. So I don't see them doing any that kind of collabs with 16 unless it's also like sided with some kind of announcement of it getting off PlayStation exclusivity. Bahamut into Monster Hunter. Bahamut would be an interesting one to see how they would do that. Because Bahamut's fights are always really weird after like the 2D pixel art ones ended. Especially if it's actually, like, giant, huge-scale Bahamut, like he's supposed to be. I just almost sorted my equipment chest again, I would've been pissed. <laughs> almost. Bahamut, but it's in the, uh, Yamatsukami arena. <laughs> <laughs> That would just be the tower, so it's not really his arena. No, no, it's his arena. No. It's the arena known for uh, Yamatsukami. No.
I actually think I remember seeing an interview where they mentioned wanting to get Bahamut into Monster Hunter. I see. That's what you were reading. Yeah. Do another Final Fantasy XIV and give us Nidhogg fight. Find it funny how much of a struggle Bahamut in Monster Hunter can be. Meanwhile, in fourteen, it's like less than a minute fight. I'm not surprised, considering in Final Fantasy fourteen, isn't it like sixteen people fighting him or some shit? Like, isn't it like a full on raid with lots of crazy DPS spam from like every fucking corner of the world? Where in Monster Hunter you can't uh, really do that. Behemoth. Yeah, like, isn't it a full-on raid? I don't even remember fighting Behemoth. <laughs> That's how forgettable it is. Damn. It's a lesser boss in a 24-man raid. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, in World, they I... decided to make him a total asshole. Especially Extreme Behemoth, where he's like, Oh, I'm dead. Here's a fucking meteor, losers. Better know how to jump. Like, Behemoth is also a lesser boss in the 16. <laughs> to be fair, Behemoth wasn't always, like, a boss fight. Like, in a lot of the older games, he was just a large, threatening monster you could just run across, so... Yeah, but I think the only ones that were boss fights were, like, King Behemoths or whatever the fuck they were. But Square seems to really want to push Behemoth. Which is weird. I don't know. Like, they could literally just be like, yeah, these are just Behemoths. Like, they're pretty threatening all, but, um... Yeah, here's a King Behemoth. Oh, yeah, but... that's right, Zeal. You didn't do the Rathalos fight in 14. You need to hunt that Rathalos. Yeah, it's not happening. I, 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 I've done that. I don't think you could even pay me to play Final Fantasy 14. I beat. I hunted that Rathalos. Good for you. I'm. I'm more of a Monster Hunter fan than you. Uh huh. Sure. <laughs> Confirmed. Yep. Uh huh. I'm sorry to tell you this, Sozu, but I'm not gonna fall for that kind of bait. You're gonna have to work harder. <laughs> but I already ate. Yeah, I can't, like, imagine how fucking long it would take to get to that fight in 14. If I were to start the game, like, now and play it. Like, I don't even want to think about how much of a fucking awful time that would be. If I want to go have an awful time, I can go play Rise. <laughs> Just had to throw it in there somehow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's only level 70. Yeah, only level 70. It's part yeah, of the exactly. free trial free now. Trial oh, now. God. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, how many hours would it take to get to level 70? Uh, don't worry about it. It's, it's free. No, no. How many, how many hours? How many hours if I wasn't skipping all the cutscenes and doing, like, exclusively, like, you know, skipping through shit in the most efficient manner? How many? I actually don't know because I didn't skip shits. And I did the uh, A Realm Reborn like end quests before they streamlined those. Yeah, it took Peeve like fucking two hundred and some hours to get through a Realm Reborn. Yeah, yeah but yeah, but Peeve is yeah, but, yeah, but it's sorry, yeah. Sorry. No, no, yes, that's pretty he, close. He, he, yeah, he's slowed in French. Well, I don't actually think he's retarded, but, like, he definitely plays games at an oddly slower pace than everybody else, like, no matter what. It's really weird. But I don't know like, how he manages he, to do it. Like, you're talking about the guy that refuses to fast travel. The fast traveling, like, not fast traveling isn't necessarily like, a, oh, uh, that's a bad thing, because it can be fun in games. But the game also has to have a, like, mildly interesting world to... War it, not fast traveling. Like, for the most part, I wasn't fast traveling in the recent Skyrim playthrough I did. But, uh, like, until it was like, like yeah, here's Endgame. Go on. Like, listen, 
every stream that I checked on him when he was playing 14, he was in his car talking. <laughs> he wasn't playing the game. He was in the car, in the air, either talking while moving around from place to place or just being in place and talking. Yeah, I could see that. I stopped, like, I started actively avoiding his Final Fantasy XIV streams because the game just looks awful in every single way, and well, it was very clear anymore. that it was very clear that he wasn't enjoying it either. And it's like this game just seems like absolute fucking garbage. Like I don't want to watch this. All right, ugly aura guy. <clears throat> ah, yes, that guy. I remember him. Yeah, so, um, I will likely never fight Rathlos in Final Fantasy XIV because there's almost yeah, no chance in my still. life that I could ever care to go and do that. Like, even if somehow I was suddenly making money from doing that, I still don't think I would want to do that. Also, holy fuck, what is that picture? Yeah, that's the that, that, is, that looks awful. <laughs> what do you mean? That's, like, impressively bad. <laughs> oh, so we're going back to the swamp. Uh, Alright. Last one, by the way. Yeah, I figured. I mean, if I didn't say anything, we'd keep going until I said something, and you'd be like, yeah, I figure. No, I was planning on making, like, this or the next, like, the last one. Ah, okay. Because I did just check the time... Yeah, we it's getting like we're done with that one, but I didn't want to be like, yeah, it's that was the last one. <laughs> bye bye. Didn't want to be that guy. Yeah, no, it's I know it's getting pretty late for you, so I was like, okay, we'll do like one or two more, and we'll be good. But yeah, that guy is <laughs> is special. That's a way of putting it. I'm in seven now. That's a Bolthango. Uh, Twice in a row I've done that. I guess I'll go to eight first. Great spawn, yep. Yeah, that's a fantastic spawn. <laughs> oh. He starts in nine. Yeah. And I use this whole thing to break this rock. Come on. He's much more cooperative this time. I'm glad that I'm pretty sure they stopped doing shit like this in later games, just randomly blocking off mining spots and things like that. For no reason. Okay, one more hit, I believe. That's point. Keeping me from getting that Bolfango head. I know your tricks. It won't be a Bofango head now because you didn't get it on like the frame RNG that you would have originally if the Vest Boy didn't fuck you over. Can't believe this. Lots of match light. Which I 
don't really appreciate. I have plenty of this now. Would be real cool to get, I don't know, like, an ancient shard or something, you know. Have you checked what the cost is for opening those yet? I'm kind of curious. Uh, I can check after. It should also tell me which ones I have. It'll like, tell you how many different like... kinds you have, at least. It won't tell you what weapon type they are unless you actually open them. But it'll be like, oh, you have like three different kinds. We won't tell you how many of each one, but you have for like three different kinds. Congratulations. No, like when you go and make them, it tells you what you're making. Like if it's a great sword or if it's a hammer. Or I whatever. don't remember it doing that at all, so I'm not gonna believe you. Fake story. Alright, here we go. Gonna get an Ancient Shard from Eleven. Let's see it. Ancient Shard and like five Carbolite. I got a stone. I got Hell a stone. Yeah. I hate this game. You, you love to see it. Got two stones and nothing. Eight. You'll get an Ancient Shard from Area 8. Yeah, totally. Nice paralysis. Yeah, Gendrum be like that. Or Genprey. These both Thangor are hiding in the bushes now. What the hell? They're becoming ambush predators. They always were. Not wrong. Carbo lights. Aren't you lucky? Maca lights, Union Ore. This guy up here just getting all the good stuff. While I'm here picking up fucking that, stones. And that was it. I picked up some stones as well. Best cook in the swamp. Or like my ex used to call it, the, the swamp. <laughs> I'm taking that shit to my grave. You're apparently not, because you just fucking said it. Normally when people say they're taking something to their grave, that means they're not going to tell anybody ever. I've heard it being I've heard it being used that way, but I've also heard that heard it being used for stuff that they'll always remember. Yeah, I've never heard of it being used like that. Like they'll take it to, to their grave because yeah, because they'll, they'll remember it forever. As but... dying. Yeah, I get why it could be used like that, but I've never heard it used like uh, that. This one seems big. Oh, I'll be the judge of that. I have the desire to play World again. I'm going to end up putting in another 500 hours, though, if I do. I mean, it's not a bad game to be putting 500 hours into. For some I reason, don't some. I think it'll get to 500, though. 
Yeah, yeah, probably not. But, um, you know, World will totally release before then, Copium. But, or, uh, you know, just go, just go play Frontier. <laughs> yeah, just go play Frontier, it's that easy. With its, like, barely translated self. I mean, do you, do you need translations? Oh, I do want to read the text, okay? Uh, you want to know about the riveting story? Of course. In, in, in the Monster Hunter MMO? Yes. It, surely it's got to be good, right? I mean, it would be <laughs> It would be if it had been made for uh, by Koreans. Right? No, um, every Korean game that I've played, the story's fucking awful. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and playing the first Descendant, it's no different. Like, holy fuck, that game's story and characters are so fucking boring. So, yeah, so, uh, what do you think about its size? Ah, uh, he's looking like he might be silver, honestly. Like, I don't really think he's much bigger than the ones we've already fought. Ow. I'm just getting double or triple tapped over here, it's fine. I have 50 stamina. Tummy hurts, so I'm just... but I'm really being really brave about it. Aha, uh -huh, sure, noble. Also high. Except noble. Yeah, I'm down to 75 stamina at the moment. Classic mm. e viewer. Actually, you know, this one might actually be a bit bigger. Like, seeing it from, like, its tail height compared to me. Noble, you've been watching too much Peeve. Yeah, he has been. He's totally been you're watching getting... all those Elden Ring DLC streams when Noble's been vehemently trying to avoid any kind of spoilers for that game. And it has been working out for him. Uh, then, then I guess it's uh, withdrawal. The stomach hurt be because of withdrawal sy symptoms. <laughs> I haven't watched Peeve at all, Pog Champ. I've barely watched him at all. I, like, but the first time I've watched him in like months was um, like three days ago or some shit. Because I was like. There's no way he's still, like, stuck on this boss and, like, getting his shit pushed in still. Like, he has to be getting close. It turns out he's still just getting his shit pushed in by the boss and he's not getting close. How is he getting his shit pushed in when when his life is playing Elden Ring? I don't know. He's on, like, 80 or 90 hours or some shit on the final boss of the DLC. That's embarrassing. Yeah, a little bit. He's playing on New Game Plus 7, or Max Difficulty, or whatever you want to call it. But still, like, dude. It's like, your life to play this? How is... How? He's too old and washed up now. Yeah, but don't tell him that, because he apparently doesn't like no. hearing that he's bad at that now anymore. Like, that's also not an excuse. It's not, after 70-some hours. Like, you could be... Like, I could see if he was being stubborn, like, the way I was fighting Melania and stuff, being stubborn, where I just didn't have, like, a proper build or stats for it. Because, you know, I didn't level up my health at all. So I couldn't really learn the fights. If I got hit once, it was just GG. But he's over there with a proper level 200 full-on build. With, like, really strong shit. And he's, like, getting shit on constantly. It's like, what are you doing? Like, I can't even really imagine what he's doing. I, I bet he's not using scattered tree fragments or whatever. No, he has them. All of them? As far as I'm aware. As far as I'm aware, he went back and, like, played more to find the rest of them. I don't know if he has every single one of them. But he should have most. I, I mean, if he has them, then he really is just bad. And he should think about retiring as a... from soft creator. I mean, like, he's always been bad at the PvE. That's always been known, but apparently he doesn't like hearing that anymore. 
I think um I think it was Bop that said it. Bop said that he was like bad at PVE or like something like that, and he apparently got upset for hearing it or being said. Based. When Peeve used to always say that he was bad at PVE and he was fine with that. So it's weird to hear now that he's like, no, don't call me that. How dare you say I'm washed up. I believe in Noble's quest, he'll beat the boss before Peeve with Stitch Rift. Oh, right. Um, so Peeve has had that fight since like a week before the public did, right? He was already on New Game Plus yeah. 7, doing the DLC on New Game Plus 7. Yeah. I, I heard that, and I was like, holy shit, that's embarrassing. So, um... Like, playing the game before everyone else, and then bragging about how much he had already played to his, to his viewers. Like, bruh. I don't really care about that aspect, but it, it kind of sucks, because he was using the whole, like, Oh, I won't I mean, be going to the- Oh, you son of a bitch, Gypsurus. I mean, I personally don't care, but it's like, people want to see his first reactions to stuff. Preferably right. live, yeah. But, um, my, that's not really my problem with it. My problem is, like, he ended up not going to a event for Elden Ring, right? Like, he had a chance to go and play, like, the game early and stuff with a bunch of other content creators. And he was coping yeah, he super hard about, like, it being a good thing that he didn't end up going because his anxiety or whatever the fuck was, like, making him <laughs> sick. He's like, oh, it's a good thing I'm not going, guys. This way, my first playthrough will be on stream. It's going to be so good. I'll be, like, playing it first time on stream. And I won't be spoiled. And he got, like, two weeks early and, like, immediately dropped everything to play just that exclusively. Other than two sponsored segments where he did two two-hour streams. Shit, the guy needs help. Yeah, so, like... I don't have a problem with him playing it off stream or like playing it beforehand or anything. I have a problem with him being like, yeah, like totally copium. It's cool that like I'm not going to this event to socialize because um, I'll be playing it for the first time on stream unspoiled. And then he ended up not doing that. It's like, okay, well, maybe now you just made yourself look stupid. No. Yes. <laughs> Only now. Yes. Oh. The uh, moss wine is also trying to get some. Yeah. I think, like, the most egregious part of that, though, was... Like, a bunch of people were like... Oh, yeah, I'm happy you're not going to this event so, like, we could see your first playthrough... Like, <laughs> yeah. on stream. <laughs> it's like... Why would you be happy about somebody missing out on a fun event with people that, as far as I'm aware, are his friends? That he, like, never gets to see in real life, and, like, he could be, like, going and socializing in real life. Like, why would you be happy about somebody not doing that? It's just, I don't know, that's weird to me. Like, I would be like, oh, dude, you didn't get to go and be all your friends in person, like, socialize like a human being? That sucks. But I guess Twitch people are, like, built different. Twitch viewers are built different, I guess. Yeah, so, uh, Noble recently started playing Elden Ring, like, a week or two ago or something. Yeah, yeah, to, I saw the VC at yeah, yeah, the subtitle. To get through, um, he's going through Elden Ring entirely to get to New Game Plus 7, which he's now in, and he's now in the DLC on New Game Plus 7. So there's, like, <laughs> not a real yeah, wager, but people... Game before Peep. Yeah, people are betting on Noble beating it before Peep with New Game Plus 7 Stick Drift. And and you know Peep is gonna let him because he's gonna blame Anxiety. No, he, Peep isn't blaming him being bad at the game on Anxiety. He blamed he not going to the Elden Ring. Yeah, he blamed not going on the Elden Ring event for that. There's a non-zero uh, chance I beat it before P, but I'm also not going, going to hope on it. I'm pretty, I'm almost like sure that you're going to do it, Noble. Oh, so am I, <laughs> and I'm not even watching either of them. I think what the best part is, is like, P is like 90% chance doing the whole new game plus seven thing for bragging rights that he did it right. Like, we all know yeah. he's doing that. There's a chance he's not, but we all know that at some point he's going to say it as, like, bragging. And it's going to be so good why I can say, oh yeah, well, Brian did it first. 
because Brandon beat it on New Game Plus 7 with not all of the uh, shard things before the game even released. Yeah. So it'll be so funny to be like, yeah, well, Brandon's better than you anyways because, you know, he did it without taking 900 hours and he did it before the game released. Brandon was, funny enough, probably the first person in the world to do it. And it was stronger before release, too. Yeah, it got nerfed for release. So Peeve is struggling with a post, or, yeah, post nerfed version of the boss. Yeah, it's going to be so the funny. The boss is only going to get further nerfed mm -hmm. as time goes on because that's how from patches their games. Supposedly, though, Aura was using a really busted weapon when I asked him. Peeve is also matter. using a really busted fucking weapon from what I've seen of it. But that's not really his fault. He found a weapon that was cool and used it. Although Oro does tend to gravitate towards really busted shit. But it doesn't matter, he still beat it first. He stole my Union Or. Ah. Oh, fucking a rip. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> my analog. Oh, my weapon needed that's... to be sharpened like an hour ago. I forgot about that. Yeah, good idea. But you know what's really funny though, Noble, about needing to, about the mention of Oro supposedly using something really busted before uh, being the boss. It falls right into the category of well, he didn't actually beat it because of this arbitrary rule set that I made up that invalidates your run. Yeah. Not saying that Noble's doing that, but it, it does fall in line with that kind of shit. Like oh, like you can use Torrent now for the final boss, right? I can't wait for people to start telling people. That, oh, you didn't actually beat the Elden Beast because you used Torrent during the fight. <laughs> you know damn well they're going to do that. Also, I fucking missed again. Yeah. Or, um... It's really funny. On, I think it was on New Game 6. Peeve summoned Scott Jund, I believe, for one of the fights. And so people were already like, oh, well, Peeve just invalidated his whole New Game Plus 7 run. I can't believe he didn't get there purely solo. <laughs> it's like, yeah, fuck. <laughs> so, you know, even if Peeve does beat the boss, did he really beat the boss? I mean, he didn't get there and do it all solo, you know? I don't uh, know, man. Yes, uh, yes and the uh, latest patch, they added Torrent. To yeah, Elden you can Beast. use the horse in the Elden Beast fight now, Zen. They uh, added that with the DLC fight change, or with the DLC patch. Yeah, he summoned Scott from Moog. So people were like, oh, well, invalidated, can't believe this. <laughs> like, immediately. But you know, people start acting like that because Peeve is the kind... Peeve does shit to do that. bragging rights and shit, yeah. Yeah. So, like, getting his even, gamer cred deducted. Even though you got people like Distortion beating the DLC in three streams and then immediately after But was Distortion doing, doing a new game plus seven? No. Exactly. But, but he was also not doing with uh, full scatter tree fragments. So if you want to be yeah. like that, what you should actually and... say is then there's Ella who started Bashi while Peeve was fighting Cheetah Men and beat Bashi and yeah. Cheetah Men before Peeve beat Cheetah Men. <laughs> yep. That too. God, actual Always God Gamer. I've never watched Ella Jazz, but actual God Gamer. He's not even that good. That's that's the thing. Compared like, to most people be, on Twitch, there he's gonna be much better than most people on Twitch. Like the thing with Ella Jazz nowadays is that he doesn't really care. Yeah, he's more casual now, ain't he? Uh, I wouldn't call him casual. I said more casual, not a casual. Y yeah, I didn't mean a casual either. Like, he streams like he doesn't care, is what I mean. Mm. Like, like, his focus isn't on his streams anymore. I see. Personally. Anyways. Weird. Th that's how I feel like it, but I, uh, people would disagree with me. That's fine. I was just summoning people my whole playthrough just to get the, uh, the DLC. Uh, no, but that's different, you see, because you're not a streamer, so it doesn't affect your streamer cred, Noble. Duh. Yeah. Like, yep. uh, the thing, the stuff that's just distortion did, okay, he's pretending to fall asleep, I don't want to take all of that damage. We uh, go again. Like, he beat 
the DLC as if he was doing a first playthrough, right? So he was doing it on new game. As if he had just beaten the game proper. You know, the yeah. intended experience. And then after that, he started doing the all of the uh, challenge runs. Dude, this is giving me fucking low rank hides. L like he did a run with only perfumes, for example. No, it's really and funny. No, and go, only go plants. On. And only this and only that. And uh, m most recently, he did a uh, level one no skeletry fragments run. And he beats the DLC. Yeah, Distortion's also very good at games. He is. But it's like... Like, you you know he's good because he does that kind of stuff, but he doesn't do it for uh, brownie points. He, he doesn't do it to brag. He does it so that he has content for, for his YouTube. Like... It's funny because like I'm not trying to like shit on Peeve like more than I would like to. It's just like a ton of people here are also people that watched or have watched him, so it just kind of happens. Oh, yeah, I'll shit on him all day. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, I'll shit on him too, but like I don't mean anything like bad by it. It's just like it kind of happens to be because like a bunch of people here know him too, so. No, I shit on him because he And it was just a larger silver crown, god fucking damn it. Yep. Like, oh, this one does actually look bigger. No, it's, it, it was bigger, but... Only by 50. Ah, oh, fucking baited. I was like, oh, that'd be so good if this is a gold crown. We could end the day on, like, getting a second subspecies unlocked. No, fuck me, I guess. Yeah, anyways, I do still enjoy watching Peeve when he's not playing Souls games, but uh, he probably won't get any chance to do that for a long time again now because of the DLC, which sucks. Yeah, not until next year. Probably not even next year. Uh, surely, <laughs> surely you'll play Monster Hunter Wilds. I don't think he will. Or he will... <laughs> If he plays Wilds, it'll literally just be because it's the next big game to stream, and he'll play it for a little bit and yeah. be like, I don't like this game, and he'll stop playing it. Which, if you're like, I don't know, man. I think you should I, I start mean, games if you think you're like going to finish because them. Because there's no, no fast travel. Maybe he'll like you because you won't have to collect Elder Dragon tracks. That's the you reason he quit that. playing the game, like, twice, so... You, you don't know that. I don't know that, but I'm going to assume at the moment that it's not going to. Like, it's supposedly, like, supposedly it doesn't have um, loading screens. So, you know. Yeah, we'll see. I wouldn't be surprised if they made you go around looking for tracks. Would not surprise me at all. I don't know, I feel like we would have seen the scout fly doing I, it during I, the trailers unless they disabled it just for that. I, I mean, the wire bugs are there. Wire bugs? Uh, not wire bugs. The, the scout uh, flies. Yeah, the scout flies. Yeah, I just said, I. we would have seen it during the trailers probably, but we didn't, unless no, they disabled it just so. for that. Like, unless they disabled they the tracks even, just for that. I mean, they didn't show you an L... No, but like, was it even confirmed that that dragon they showed at the end was an elder? No, but we all know it's going to be. It's very clearly an elder dragon. What makes you say that? Because it shares a skeleton with Gormagala. Yeah, and Gormagala isn't an elder. He technically is. Uh, he, he isn't. He is. Everybody knows that he's literally Sh an elder Shigar dragon. Shigaru is... is one, yeah. Yeah, well in that case, Gormagal is a question, 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 but we all know it's literally just a baby yeah, elder exactly. dragon. Yeah, exactly. He is a question, question, It's question. literally just a baby elder dragon, which means it's Maybe an elder the dragon. New one, 
maybe the new one isn't question, question, question. I, it would well, be so funny if it, it was a question, funny. question, question, because then all the people who are obsessed with Gore are going to be pissed that Gore's not special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be so funny, but they're not going to do that. It's just going to be an Elder Dragon. Nah, I think it'll be the new, uh, the, the new Mango Maldo. I don't think they would do that again with the normal monster being the flagship, at least not one shitty like him. It might be the flagship, but it would be an elder. Yeah, I I think it is just the flagship. It, like it's a, their, there's uh, hit or miss between the flagship being an elder or not. I think it's their Astalos replacement. Well, Astalos wasn't the flagship for uh, Jen. Let me look at the case right here. I'm dropping shit. Yeah, the monster on the cover for Generations is Glavinus. Yeah, I'm not disputing that. Yeah, I'm just... I, I'm, you said Aslos, like... Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, it's fine. I, I think it. they're adding that one so they don't have to add Aslos. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a Nala Dragon. There's a chance it's not going to be, but it seems like it's going to be. Like I would have I would be hard pressed to have that not be an Elder Dragon, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Like at, at, until I'm told that it's an Elder Dragon by Capcom themselves, it's it's Schrod Schrodinger's. Schrodinger's Elder. Yes. Yeah, so I'm pretty positive it's going to be an Elder Dragon. There's always a chance it's not going to be. But, um, it's not like there's never been Elder Dragons as the flagships either, considering Dose's flagship is Kushala Deora, and uh, Generation's ultimate is uh, Valstrax. And... I mean, Valstrax in the Rise is barely an Elder. I said Generation's ultimate. Yeah, I know. Um, Ultimate's it, flagship is fucking... Or not Ultimate, um... Sunbreak's flagship right. is fucking what's-its-face, the vampire thing, Melzino. Yeah. But Ryze's base game is Mango Mall. Like the flagship? Yeah. I actually think more elders tend to be flagships. And, and worlds... Depending on uh, the year you got the game, it was either Rathalos or uh, uh, the bad one. I was going to get to Iceborne for Valkana, and I was going to mention stupid fucking uh, Nergigante after that. Yeah, Nergigante. But Noble beat me to it with uh, mentioning it in chat. Glossed over world. Wonder which Elder you don't like. Yeah. Rathalos. However, my copy of Monster Hunter World has Rathalos on the front cover, so... Yeah, Rath mine has Rathalos as well. is the actual... He's the actual flagship of World. Just, gonna, just gonna say it. My PS4 physical copy. Uh, it has, has Rathalos on the front. It's, it. That's it. That's him. People like that's to try one. and claim that it's Mag... Or not Magdamalo. Same fucking monster, they're both trash. Everybody likes to try and claim that, oh, Nergigante yeah, yeah. is the flagship of World. Bitch, That's Rathlos not. is on that cover. Rathlos is the flagship of the series. He's been the flagship like four different, or five different times, one of the two. He's on the cover of 1G Freedom. I believe he's on the cover of 3? I Try specifically. And then, I think he's even on the cover of fucking 3U. And then World, so like six times. Actually, no, Try might... One of them might have, um... Ligiacris instead for three. Either... Yeah, either is sure. What? 
a G. Oh yeah, a, yeah. As de jure. Yeah, I'm saying like it's Rathlos regardless. Yeah. Uh, right. Tigrex on Freedom Two. Yeah, it's Ar it's Nergigante and, and Tigrex for Freedom Two and uh, Unite. Lagayacris for Try. Okay, and then it's yeah. Zenogre for port Portable Thirds. And then it's Azure again, Bra ain't it? Uh, Brachidios for 3G. I don't... Really? I don't know if I believe that. Hang on. It might be uh, a regional I'm, difference thing. I'm on the fandom website. Yeah. It might be a regional difference thing with uh, the covers. Yeah, because I, mean, I have a picture is, right here. Oh, so it's only Japanese. Yeah, I have a picture right here. Uh, Solaire uh, found a copy of 3U for the 3DS just sitting around somewhere, so, uh... No. I'm sending that picture nice. to you right now whenever the fuck it decides to go. Uh, Gormagala for 4, Seregios for 4 Ultimates, Glavinus for Generations. So, yeah, see? Plenty, none elder. Yeah, so uh, there's a Jor sitting on the cover for 3U 3DS. Very nice. That's a very nice Azure. It does look really nice. That's a really nice cover art. <laughs> and they don't have it on fandom on the fandom website. Yeah. That's it's one. Funny. It's probably just one of those regional difference things. Uh, how is my uh... or did I no I do have the physical for you yeah mine is Sergius I believe mine's Sergius as well I can just grab my cases again let's see oh no mine shows um Gormagala for for you for you. Yeah. Huh. It should be for for Magala. Apparently not in America. Alrighty then. But it's it's weird because you'd think he'd be the flagship for four, as in like um uh Shigor would be the flagship for four ultimate, but I guess not for America. It's just straight up you only get four in America, uh, or four you in America. Here's Gormagala. I mean, I'm sure Zen is happy about it, about that. Yeah, he bought the uh, collector's edition of four you. He has the Gormagala statue sitting on his desk. It looks really nice. He, he says for you four, but I'm sorry, Zen. I have a case right here with a uh, Seragus instead. So, uh... Uh, no, I'm sorry to tell you, there's two people on my side with Gore as the For You flagship on the case, so, you know... You're, you're outweighed uh, on that one, sorry, man. Yours is wrong. No, no. If if the Japanese and the European says it's, uh, Seragios, then that means it's Seragios. No, so, no, nobody cares what the Europeans or Japanese say. The Japanese are also ones sitting there trying to say that Nergigante is the fucking flagship of world. It's nobody believes you, dude. Are they? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Don't they have uh, Nergigantes to cover? Uh, according to fandom, they do. Yeah, see? <laughs> Losers, man. They just live in a fucking oh, yeah. fantasy world. But so, the point is that there are actually way more uh, non-elder uh, flagship monsters than there are elder ones. Yeah, but then there's the issue of some regions have different things on their covers. Yeah. Like, by that logic, I could also sit here and say, well, Gormagala was a flagship twice. <laughs> so it's like, it's, I don't know. <laughs> I guess. Gormagala, officially the second most flagshiped monster in the entire series. I would take the Japanese one as the uh like the actual base one but like it's still like you get a kushala for two 
And then... I feel like they're more... Because Warmagala is question mark, question mark, question mark. He's a fucking elder, let's just be real. So you get then Valstrax for, for, for a Gen U. I feel then like they're more inclined. And then Malzino. I think they're more inclined to make elders the like G rank expansion flagships yeah. rather than not. But then it's not fair because half the games didn't get G. Well, not half their games. Like it used to be like a third of the games didn't have a G rank expansion. Um, I mean, both Dose and Try don't have any G rank stuff. That's mostly because they were on... They were on... Well, that's not even true because DOS is PS2. DOS just came out at a bad time because the fucking PS3 was around the corner. And then... Yeah. Uh, and because they, they were like, well, we're gonna move to portable games because the portable games were the ones that were selling. Mm -hmm. Just because they were more popular they, in Japan. Yeah, and because they weren't popular at all in uh well outside of Japan. Yeah, there was really it was really hard pressed to find people that were in the series here before World. Well, not before World, before For You. For You is where I saw more people picking it up. And then it was pretty big by Gen. And then For You just like blew up the or not For You, um World just blew up the player base cuz it came back to consoles and people were actually able to play it on a real yeah. thing. And now you could make the argument, oh, well, Portable 3rd was also on the PS3. It's like, yeah, but that was only in Japan. Oh, well, Monster Hunter 1G was also on the Wii. It's like, that's a Nintendo Wii. And, like, three games behind at that point. Yeah. <laughs> and you were using the, the fucking fuck motion controls. Get a Wii to play Monster Hunter. Yeah. And you could be like, oh, well, 3U was on a real console. Because that was on fuck or no, try was also on the Wii, and again nobody's gonna buy a game on the fucking Wii that's like that. Most normal people aren't going to at least. But then you could be like, oh well, dude, three U was on a console. It's like, dude, nobody bought the fucking Wii U. <laughs> Wii U. <laughs> yeah, three Ultimate was also on the Wii U. Nobody fucking knows that, but it was there, and nobody played it because nobody bought a Wii U. Yeah. Monster Hunter World on PS4 is the first time it's been on an actual console with a controller somebody would want to use for these kinds of games in almost two decades. It was like 15 years or some shit. The, the funniest thing for me about the Wii U is that I still hear about it and about how no one, no one played it. And meanwhile, every American I know had a GameCube or whatever, and I legit... I've never seen a single GameCube. I have a GameCube like, sitting over just, there in my dresser. It was just not a thing in Europe. Pretty much everybody that I knew had a GameCube. Except for Clownface. He was the only one that didn't. Yeah, see? Like, I, I knew someone with a... With a N64. Tons of people had a Wii. Because, of course, they had. I mean, it, it came with a... Uh, came with Wii Sports. It came with Wii Sports, came with a scale, if you had the fitness version. That didn't come out until, like, way later, so, though. So, so, of course, so of course, moms were like, oh, I can do some exercise on this, on this machine that my kid... That's supposed to be for my kid to play, to play games. Yeah, with. um... The Nintendo Wii playing Wii Sports is the first and only time I've ever seen most of my family playing a video game. Everybody was into playing Wii Sports. Uh, like it, it was also the uh, arrival of the Just Dance stuff. A lot of people would also like do parties of Just Dance and whatever. Yeah, like, back in the day when the Wii was more relevant, quote-unquote more relevant, when the Wii was relevant, period. <laughs> um, that was the only time where, like, the family gatherings were ever fun. It was like, oh, everybody's here for Christmas, everybody's here for Thanksgiving, or whatever, like, holiday it is. 
oh, we're all going to do like do this stuff, and like everybody's going to play some Wii Sports, and we're all going to have fun. That was like the only time my family, family gatherings ever been like remotely interesting. Or on the Mario Kart as well. No, none of them would play Mario Kart. Everybody, yeah. everybody played Wii Sports. Perfect. Everybody. Even got my mother to play Wii Sports, and I don't think she'd played a game since, like, Tetris. Hell yeah. Kicked my family's ass in Wii Sports and Wii Play. Dude, me and Zan were, like, gods at that game. Nobody in our family could touch us in Wii Sports. It was so easy. Me and Zan almost knocked each other out with the Xbox Connect. Oh, God, I told that fucking story, too, recently, Zan. I don't think I, I don't know if it was on stream. If it was on stream, it was during the one with the uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings, where everything was just going poorly. Um. So I got a 360 when the Kinect came out. So I got the 360 Kinect thing, like the package thing. And holy fuck! For starters. Me and Zen were apparently too tall. Like, in what I think we were in, like, late high school or some shit with that. So we were too tall playing that. So if we wanted to connect to register us, like, ducking, we had to drop our knees and, like, slam our fucking knees, like, on the floor and, like, get back up really quickly. For to be like, oh, yeah, they ducked. But, um, a big issue was... When we were playing the game, we were basically like perfect mirrors of each other, like when we were doing movements. And then we were on the kayaking level, I'm pretty sure it was. And it was like, oh, we got to dodge this one specific thing coming at us. And we both went to dodge, but because we're mirroring each other's movements, we dodged towards each other and smashed our heads together. <laughs> so we just like gave each other a concussion real quick. It's like, oh, fuck, man. <laughs> Or, um, uh, did you, did you know about a little bit of the controversy with the Kinect when it came out? Uh, maybe. I, I don't know if it ever got, like, addressed or fixed officially, but, um, so the Kinect uses cameras, right? Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah. I think I remember. Yeah, so, um. Two of the friends back in high school that I used to hang out a lot with and we played a lot of games and um we unfortunately kinda like drifted apart after high school. But uh well, not after high school, but it was a couple of years after high school. Um, you know, shit happens. Uh they were too black. The the Kinect couldn't see them. And the lighting in my living room wasn't so good, so it was like not like fully lit so the connect would like <laughs> it would like register them for a second and it would like be like no nah, that's not a person they're not there um we ended up making it playable because i went and got a couple like it was one of those like overhead ceiling fans with like the four light bulbs that you could put in it we uh, only we only had one because like the light bulbs like slowly blew out over time i went and got more light bulbs and put them in and then the like the room being brighter was like the cat was like, oh, that is a person. Shit, that's not a shadow. I remember that. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was really funny when we saw that happening because it it has like a thing where you can like see it, how it's like picking up things. There's like a connect camera mode where like it'll show everything in the room and be like, oh well, like here's a person, there's a person, this guy's doing this. So we turned it on and we just saw it like occasionally flicker to them. Like, is that a person? It's like, no, that's not a person. It was super fucked up. It was funny, though. We all had a laugh about it. And we got it working with more light bulbs, and then we were like, yeah, these games are, like, cool, I guess, but, like, playing it kind of sucks. I mean, yeah, it was the Kinect. Yeah. I'm gonna check the ancient charts for you. Uh, all right. But, um, the conversation about that kind of stuff came up because I was talking... I was like, yeah, I'm not playing Sonic Freeriders because I don't have a Kinect or the game anymore. Because somebody was asking, like, oh, if you're playing Sonic... If you're playing Sonic Riders and you've... Or you've played Sonic Riders and you're going to play Zero Gravity, 
Like, didn't they make it like a third one? It's like, no, they basically didn't. It's only unconnected. I can't play that anymore anyways. I think at that at some point then somebody was like, oh, well, I have an Xbox 360 to connect playing around. I was like, no, you don't. No, you don't. Although that happened on stream and most of this other rest of the conversation happened off stream, I'm pretty sure. It was like, oh, yeah, I have like a 360 to connect playing around. I was like, nope. No, you know. You cannot make me play Free Riders again. That game was ass. Yeah, by the way, the picture you sent me was of Soul. Yeah. That yeah, was Soul. He found tell. a random uh, copy of that laying yeah, I around. I can tell he's a musician. Yeah? Yeah, from his nail. <laughs> like his pinky nail. Oh, I see. I even noticed that. So why is that apparently a giveaway for somebody being a musician? Uh, I can't remember anymore why, but I had a musician friends and they all had it. Had it. Mm. I think it's for playing guitar. He plays a tuba, so... I don't think that really translates between string and brass. It probably doesn't, no. But, I mean, he probably has learned to play guitar. I don't say. believe he has. Then, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he just likes his uh, nails long. Maybe. Speaking of, though, I actually need to trim mine. They're not long or anything, it's just like... They're hanging a bit over, like, the actual skin now. Instead of being, like, trim, like, flush, kind of. So they're getting crap under them, and I don't really like that. I'm gonna go in... <laughs> I'm gonna go into, uh general and just tag him saying trim your nails <laughs> he's gonna be like he's I'm, gonna be I'm so confused completely unprompted yeah i'm not gonna answer anything sozu comes into general chat tells soul to trim his nails refuses to elaborate leaves yes exactly there you go it's done so how much does it uh cost to make the ancient shards into weapons 1k. Mm. So it's the same as the rush shards. That's interesting. Yeah. By the way, uh, you'll probably want to just turn off your system instead of like closing because it'll save if you close the game properly now. Oh, I didn't actually. Oh, you just went and looked at it. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I just went and looked at the price. Interesting. I thought they were going to up the price because there were supposed to be better weapons. Supposedly. I mean... It's still a gotcha. Yeah. Supposedly. Yeah, I think we've uh, talked enough. It's a bit later than we were planning to stay on. Yeah. Uh, how long was the stream? Uh, just like short of six hours. hours. Just short of six. Yeah, six. It's 5.54.38 right now, so. Uh, Oops. This one, yeah. So, you are going to be away next weekend, correct? Indeed, for the next two weekends. Next two weekends, okay. I was like, oh, well, a weekend after that we could play right No, apparently not. <laughs> well, no, my, uh, my flight is on the 20th, and I get back on the 29th. Ah, uh, I see. All right, well, I guess next time we play will be uh, next month, if we end up playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Technically, yeah. Yeah. Although, remember, I have uh, the week of the 29th free. Oh, right. You like playing during the week? Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I'd be game. We'll see when we get there what uh, either of us are doing, but yeah, I'd be up for playing during the week as well. Sounds good. All right, man. Have a good night. Right. See you around. Thank you. Go watch uh, Argentina versus Colombia. Yeah, I'm not going to go watch fucking football. Screw that. Literal garbage. <laughs> Alright, have a good night, man.
Alright. Bye-bye.